Hi guys, welcome to the pure installation video. Uh, that's our F3 and this is sway bar from Germany. The strongest sway bar, the longest sway bar by far. So this is 60 centimeters on a, on a stock sway bar. Byron, surprisingly, is just 59.5 and this the strongest sway bar on the market at 63 and a half and something. And the thickest sway bar on the market with links, 14, size 14. And this is a stock sway bar that was just taken from the, from the F3. And I can fit it in to the stock sway bar. Now, I cannot fit it to Baharon, of course I cannot fit it to this uh, H&R sway bar. This is size 18. And yeah, so Baharon uh, has a space in there. Now this one, this one has no space in there uh, at all. And I'm Martin, Martin the Vlogger, from martinthevlogger.com slash shop. Only place where you can get these and we can ship worldwide. So guys, today, nothing else, installation. And in case you would like to see comparison, and why this is just one ultimate high performance sway bar that is the best on the market, period. Uh, there is a different video and you can find it on martinthevlogger.com. Now, guys, enough of this. First 500 views, no video ads and no bullshit around. Straight to the point. Let's start with what you will need and as you can see the bike is not on the on the ramps now This is very important. Don't go on any forums asking like what is this the space or the the height that you will need for the bike Because I told you one very important thing this bloody Sway bar or anti-roll bar is the longest one on the market 64 centimeters and of course I'm, I'm prepared for this video. So it's 25.2 inches now, why I'm saying it's very important is this is how much or how many centimeters or inches plus minus, I rather say be on 25 inches that you need under your bike, okay? So we will go on ramps and why I'm saying like don't go on forums asking like what is the size, whatever, because the closest competitor, there is no competitor to this, to this sway bar, but the closest one it's 1.6 inches shorter, so four centimeters shorter. So be careful about that. Now we're gonna on the ramps and we'll start doing the installation, of course. It's important to do, I have to tell you, be careful and uh, you know, use proper ramps and don't let that bloody thing fall down on you because it ain't gonna be good. Uh, how much time you will need? Uh, I can do it in about 40 minutes plus minus if I'm not recording videos, but I would I would say like one hour One hour 20 so and plenty of coffee. Now first what we will need for our job uh, Martin the vlogger is not getting any younger so cardboard in case you want now uh, We need to go under the bike first and I like to play with my pushpin removal tools and we will need T30. I'm really sorry, probably I told to myself, create a sway bar box for installations of the sway bar because I do it regularly, but of course I didn't do it. Now, pushpin removal tool, you know, I like to talk about it quite a lot. Uh, if you play around pushpins on your sway, on your, you know, uh, spiders or rikers, there are a lot of pushpins, have a proper tool like this or like that, you can get it on our shop with extra 20 push pins because you simply will lose them, break them, whatever. What do we need to do now? One, two, three push pins and T30 ball here to remove this plastic and that plastic. So let's do it. All right, my tip here is don't be right underneath of it in case you do not have brand new bike. This is a brand new bike, so it's more fine, but there's usually a lot of dirt, so it can fall into your eyes. There's nothing nice, so just a tip. 
All right, so we have removed the plastic covers and that's because we are able to get to these bolts basically. Those are the first two bolts on both sides. So two bolts here, two bolts on the other side. We need to remove. So it's this bridge and this bushing, bushing will be loose. And of course, this is our sway bar. Here are the links that we will change as well. And what you need, you need size, where it is. You need size 10 with a wrench and you need also the size 10 to go from the other side inside so you can hold the end of your end cap of the bolt so let's do it two bolts here and two bolts exactly on the same spot on the other side Now, one more time, you need to do both sides, I think it's pretty clear. And if you have done it correctly, you will have a one side and the other. And you can throw this away, you will not need it anymore. And it can be grey, it can be black, don't worry about that. Now, what I do, that's maybe a tip. The bridge doesn't have a washer or, you know, I just always put it together as, as I took it out from the bike because, for instance, the other uh, bolt has a washer as well, so I know you know I would like to put it in the same same way back so put it on the side and Now what we will do we will remove the links we will because we'll be replacing them anyway uh, And we need size 13 uh, so one side and the other So if you did everything correctly, again, of course, you need to do both sides. And uh, if you did everything correctly, you have these plastic links. We will throw them also away. And you have four bolts and four end caps. Now bolts, again, I will throw them away because you have these heavier, uh, higher quality bolts in the packaging. What we'll just reuse is the end caps or are the end caps. Now we have the sway bar loose. Uh, however, I will be not able to, to remove it because my bike is not high enough. So we'll raise it, remove it and place in the, the new sway bar. I'll just slide it to one side and remove it. <laughs> now here is one kind of thing you just need to find a grip or sweet spot how it will oh yeah it's there sometimes it takes longer sometimes it takes a little bit less time to squeeze that bloody thing in there we go Good. Uh, but sometimes it takes small time, sometimes less. And there is a hole inside, so you need to put it in and you know maneuver around a little so it's it squeezes in basically. Try to have your bar kind of in the middle. Uh, the the point for you, like it's this where the, the links are, okay? So try to have it equally match. Uh, and we will put in these bushings and we will put back in the, I call it bridge, okay? In case you will have these bushings in two parts, it's not a big, a big deal at all. Sometimes they break, sometimes they don't. And uh, just put them back on. Uh, it's like this actually. So the bar goes up and the bolt goes down, so. Guys, do this, do this bridge as well, and 
don't tie anything up just make it loose so we can still play around and position our sway bar and do this side so the bushing uh, with the washer at the back and the bridge tied it a little not too much so we can still move around our sway bar okay so again we are still able to move with with the sway bar so we didn't tie it and now oh it's getting dark here all right so sit here we will move to the to the links so you will need two links uh if you haven't bought it you can you will reuse this plastic ones but i really don't recommend you to do that because our bar is very powerful uh so these links uh you will need four bolts they're coming in the with the packaging and we will reuse end caps and actually these bolts you can keep in your garage or just throw away and uh, you will have four spaces or oh, eight spaces all together four for one side they will always go from one side on the other and the reason why you have basically the straw well is it the straw it's a rubber tube you put it in you put the spacer on from one side you put spacer on from the other bear with me guys good and this way it's easier for you to put it back on your bike uh, so the spacer link and the spacer always do it like this and yeah bolt in so it will push out the the straw good Now we will connect the sway bar with the link and the link is actually on the inner side of the bike. So the link is inside, the bolt is from outside, again space it. Now you can see that there are two holes, all right? The one that it's not the outer one, the inner one, it's for sport riding. What does it mean? And this one is for cruising. So outer one, it's cruising. The inner one, the shorter, it's sport cruising. Or in other words, this one, it's for less skilled rider. This one is for skilled rider. This one, it's more, it will give to your bike like more sharpness. It's really like, <laughs> you will get everything from the bar. This one still allows you to, you know, there are compromises, whatever. Uh, and uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. Uh, it's installation video. So what I will do, I will, of course, put bolt, put the spacer. Uh, what I will do, uh, I will put uh, it into a cruising or comfort, uh, because this, this bike is for tour and rental purposes. So it's obvious that we're gonna, we're gonna do it this way but at any time it's just a matter of one bolt and you can basically switch from comfort to sport it's up to you all right it's just one bolt now of course again i did the other side as well what i want you to do now is just uh tight it a little I, I mean like not even tight it it's just make sure that Balls are touching the sway bar and the link, uh, but still we can, we will do the final kind of check and positioning of the, this was too much, positioning of our sway bar. So I want that, you know, that angle that I can still, angle, I would like to have the movement uh, so I can still move around. So top and bottom and final positioning. All right, now uh, we still have, you know, we can still move with, with our uh, sway bar. Uh, as you can see, this one is more straight. Hopefully you can see it. This one is more straight than this one. This is really like on this angle. Now, if you have F3 while well, you are watching F3 installation, uh, I don't want to say you don't have to be 
100% spot on in the middle in terms of sway bar and, and link facing the same like kind of sharpness straight down or whatever uh, if you have RT that's a different story with RT and our sway bar you need to be like super super spot on otherwise the links are touching the frame and they are creating a, a cracking noise which I absolutely hate now with this one it would be super stupid to tell you you don't have to be straight on your sway bar but you tiny um, kind of not really like super spot on in the middle it's it's allowed uh, but anyway you can use the meter or right angle you know to see if you are in the middle this one is absolutely not in the middle so we will move it a tiny bit work with me uh, so let's see not touching the frame not touching the frame and actually here is kind of nice uh, place where you can see with your eye like how much you are on the left or right this one you see you can even measure it it's quite nice so once we are happy tie this one up as much as you can tie this one up tie this one up and tie this one up so four things you need to tie right now okay now for this, uh, how tight you should be, uh, you should be 28 newton meters, which is 20.6 uh, foot or feet of torque, uh, feet pound torque, how, how it is, yeah. Uh, the thing is, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I found it too weak, uh, like those 28, don't know. There we go. So I like to do 28 <laughs> plus something. There we go. Good. Same on the top. And tiny bit extra. Good. You know <laughs> that, that thing like how tight I want my screws. Usually I'm not really using torque wrench. Uh, just for installation purposes and um, I kind of like this is my torque wrench you know but uh, I'm kind of old-fashioned here and my father was always like make it tight so I do it like that way uh, you have everything in this Buche as it is in German uh, and also keep this in case you have it from me in case you have this way bar keep it because this is Road legal and certificate. Um, road legal and safety certificate. Jesus Christ, certificate, and uh, it's the only sway bar that has it. But again, in case you would like to find out a little bit more about the sway bars and the differences, that's a different video. Now, uh, also again, do the other side, same way, and yeah, I guess, I guess we should put everything together. Oof, almost forgot. Uh, you will have two rings like this. Now, what they are good for. Yeah, like you need to uh, undo them, so uh, put it in half. And why they are good for it's just because it's a German sway bar and there must be safety of unsafety. So in case your sway bar will move or whatsoever, uh, this will, like this is the second security thing that the sway bar is not really moving. So we will, we will do it the proper way. And it goes right over here on the edge where is the bushing. Now, I don't wanna say in the installation video that, uh, that don't worry. I mean, if you will not put it there, nothing will happen, but <clears throat> I mean, put it there in case you have it at home and do it properly, but uh, it's just painful to do it. And really nothing will happen in case you will not put it there. But just for the record, I haven't set it on 
on camera. And tied it. Ah, okay. Good. Other side as well. Do you know why, guys, I also like this? Actually, it's called, of course, push pin removal tool. Because I can hook it up just like this on places where I need. Push it back in. Do this. And there you go. And sometimes, trust me, it can be so complicated, so frustrating. And it's called push pin removal tool, but actually it's helping me to put the push pins back. This is it. Uh, now I will push the bike down, of course, go for a test ride. And uh, in case you have a sway bar from me, just let me know uh, what kind of difference you feel. But it's a game changer. Now I will, as I said, I will push it down. I'll take it right over here. Whip. That's the. It's also the touring rental agency, and uh, I'm gonna talk about the differences between sway bars and what they can do. But that's a different video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. In case you would like to experience tours on three, in case you would like to experience Europe on three wheels, toursonthree.com or martinthevlogger.com, and there is the link to my tour and rental agency. Uh, we have spiders, we have Rikers, we have the best and coolest tour guy ever, me. And or watch vlogs on martinthevlogger.com, and of course, you can shop on many different products on martinthevlogger.com/shop. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, buy yourself a sway bar or not. It's your call and your mistake. In case you don't buy, and always have fun.